Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan and in this tutorial we are going to cover the remaining new features of the Blender Knife Tool. If you didn't watch the first part of the Blender Knife Tool new features, link is in the description and in the i button also. And without further ado, let's get started. I want to make a cut at the center of this cube. I can easily do this with the knife tool. You need to select the first point. Then you need to press and hold the shift key. You will get this midpoint. This cut will snap the midpoints of that particular segment, that edge. You can see my cursor is here on this edge and that's why it is snapping the midpoint of this edge. And then if I move down along the z-axis, then you can see and now it is snapping the midpoint of this bottom edge. And then you need to select the second point and then press enter to complete that operation. And you will get the cut at the center of this cube. It's very amazing. Similarly, I can create the loop cut. You need to select the first point and then press C to cut across the model. And then you need to press and hold the shift key and then select the second point and then press enter or spacebar to complete that operation. And you will get the center loop cuts, which pretty well decent. Select the first point, press and hold the shift key, select the second point and then press enter to get the cut from the midpoints of that particular edges or faces. The next amazing features of the Blender Knife tool, it is a visible distance and angle measurement. So you need to select the first point. So I'm going to select this point. And if I press S key, I will get this, which is something amazing. You can see there is the angle. I can measure the angle and you can see the distance from this point to this point or this point. You can see the angles at both points. You can see that 45 degree angle at there. If I press one more time the S key, I can toggle to just distance mode. If I press S key one more time, then I can toggle to just angle mode. If I double tap S key, then I will get both like this. And easily I can create a cut like this with the help of visible distance and angle measurement. I need to press just S key at there so I can create a cut in any angle. Let's say I want to make a cut in a particular angle and I want to give the particular value for that angle. So how will I be able to do that? You need to select the first point, then you need to press S key and you will get this visible distance and angle measurement. Okay, after that you need to use the constraints. See, that's why you need to press A key and you will get this constraint line. And now you will get the snapping option. I want to give the 5 degree angle so it will snap to 5 degree angle. So that's why I need to press 5. I need to give the value 5 and now you can see it is snapping to the 5 degree. You can zoom in a little bit and you can see. Now it is snapping to the 5 degree and I can easily create a cut in a particular angle. Let's see I want to create cut in a 45 degree or maybe in a 20 degree, 25 degree, 30 degree. You can see this is the perpendicular cut and 90 degree angle is there. And now it looks like a Pythagoras theorem. Maybe my maths is not pretty well. It is very useful for the architectures or who creates mechanical designs or product design who, who gives the right measurement and create their model with the help of blueprints. For those kind of people, it is very helpful. Now the third and amazing feature of the knife tool, it is the multi object edit mode. So you can see here I have these two cubes. Just select both cubes and then hit tab for the edit mode. And I want to create a cut across these two meshes. These are two different objects and I can do that. Just need to select the first point. I will press Z key and then C key and then select the second point and then press enter and then go to the perspective view and you can see there is a cut across these two objects which is not possible in the previous Blender version. Easily I can create a cut like this. Normally we create a cut similar to that you need to create a cuts and you can do with the multiple objects like this. As like this you can see there. Yeah you will get these cuts on these objects also and on these objects also. And you can do with the any angles in any direction. Suppose this is like this and select both objects then go to the edit mode and then use the knife tool and I want to create a slant cut like this that also I can do with the knife tool as like this you can see you can see that cut on this object and on this object also 
So these are the amazing features of the Blender knife tool which makes it more powerful. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.